Well, hello, hello, friends, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie, and I'm known around just about any social media platform as Honestly Mommy. Today, I want to take you along with us in basically our nighttime routine routine if you want to call it that we don't really have a lot of specifics that we do but along the way as a mom of five kids i've picked up a few tips and tricks and things i like to do to help get my kids into bed a little quicker and a little easier So part of starting our nighttime routine is once the kids are done with um, naps and quiet playtime during the afternoon, um, I have them just do a general pickup of the house, the basement, the rooms, anything that they like took out and played with just to make sure that we're kind of in order for the evening. Cause I find our evening tends to be less chaotic if we can do a little bit of cleaning on the forefront and just get things organized. <music> this stage of motherhood, you know, introducing a new baby again, I feel like has gotten us off our game a little bit more, not really in the routine, but just in things are a little more unsettled right now. So anything that we can do to help make things calmer and more peaceful, especially at night before, as the kids are trying to like wind down and go to bed is definitely a huge plus for us. diaper change of the day and yep looking good looking good so I was just feeding Zoe really quickly I had to take some pictures and so I changed her into this white onesie what is it about the white onesies that just always cause an explosion and she's ready to be changed I gotta go all right it is time to prep dinner which around our house is always quite an event because I have lots of little hands that want to help I am prepping a beef and veggie stir fry tonight with brown rice and my kids actually really love stir fry. It's a way that we use up all the vegetables in the fridge which is always great. Um, we try to make dinner kind of a family event in prepping, cleanup. Uh, one of the girls chores is to unload the dishes and then my son's chore is to load them right now. So we're really trying to help instill values that we work together as a family to help our house run easier smoother all of that so dinner time I'm usually trying to chat with them let them know what I'm doing how the cooking process works stuff like that to help keep them engaged and also teach them about family life Today's video is sponsored in part by Mommy's Bliss. We have been trying out some of their children's sleep gummies and sleep supplements. Uh, they have melatonin in them and they help support your child's natural sleep cycle. So we'll be sharing a little bit more about this and what we've thought about them a little later on in the video. Um, but let's continue on with our nighttime routine. You chose a good night to visit our home as we're having our family meeting tonight. We will be going over our three core values and letting our children have a chance um, to talk about them more, discuss them, ask questions, and really just work to instill these values into our children at a young age. After some good quality conversation, my kids opted to have a dance party to end the night. This is one of our favorite nightly activities. We like to pull out the sparkle lights, as my kids call them. We pull out the croaky machine. <laughs> um, we let the kids decide what songs they want to sing, and then we just have a blast singing and dancing um, and getting some of the wiggles out before it is time to wind down for bed. Such a great imagination. So those are no words that also makes castle. 
It is the end of another long day around here, so we are gonna work on getting these kiddos into bed so that Pop and I can have a little bit of time to rest and relax before we go to bed. How's your snack, Sam Sam? Is it good? Is it yummy? How's your snack? Dinosaur. No, it's not. This is the um, little animal that Rapunzel has the animal. Can I please have my sleep gummies? My kids have been absolutely loving these sleep gummies. Um, they've become part of our nightly routine, if you want to call it that. Um, they actually ask me and remind me for them, which I think is just awesome. Uh, so they do come in a sleep gummy. They come in a sleep liquid and a chewable tablet. And we've tried the chewable tablets off and on too, um, which they like those just as well. It doesn't really make a big difference to them. But this, of course, they think they're having like a treat before bedtime and sneaking in some, you know, candy or a gummy or something. So like, I think they're maybe slightly confused as to why I'm allowing them this before bed. And they don't know that secretly I am helping them wind down, um, sleep better. Um, you know, our Aurora tends, as much as we named Aurora after Sleeping Beauty, she's our one child who doesn't like to sleep. Um, so these have been incredibly helpful for her particularly um, because I feel like she's more of a night owl and wants to stay up late. Uh, when I give her these, I've noticed she has a easier time calming down, winding down. Um, we don't have so many visits after she gets into bed, you know, where she's coming out over and over and over again. She just is able to rest and go to sleep. So these have been awesome for us. What do you think about your sleep gummies? Good. They're so yummy. Are they yummy? Yeah. Why are they yummy? You're yummy. so yummy. Luckily, nighttime routine has gotten a little bit easier these days as now that, um, you know, our three oldest are at the point where they can get their jammies on themselves and kind of do their little routine. We basically, our little mantra is potty drinks and into bed, you know, so they get themselves in their jammies and then they're expected to go to the bathroom, get a drink. So hopefully that they're all, you know, set and ready to go to sleep, which let's be honest. Sleep is the leading cause of dehydration in children, as all of us adults know. So, you know, we at least try to be preemptive with giving them a little drink before they get into bed. And then, of course, either Jeremy or I will help the younger two, obviously the baby, but Sammy still needs some help with getting her jammies on. Um, so we wrestle her into jammies most days. And now it's time to wind down and get these little buggers into bed. A while ago, we realized that sound machines are really helpful for our kids just in getting them to sleep and helping them stay asleep. So we have, I don't know, these little models off Amazon that we've been using for. Yeah, I know, you like your sound machine, don't you? They, they double as a sound machine and a nightlight. All right, friends, the kids are off to bed, which means it is time for mama to start winding down because <laughs> mama is tired. And baby's ready to go to sleep pretty quick here too. So thank you for hanging out with us tonight. We loved having you in our home as we <laughs> went about our crazy shenanigans. As always, you could find me on Instagram daily, just sharing um, encouragement about motherhood, my daily life, all that fun stuff. And well, really you can find me on just about any platform as honestly mommy, but Instagrams where all the fun stuff happens. So check me out there. Come hang out, say hey, all that good stuff. Um, until next time. Hey, 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 I still want to do the video. <laughs> Baby They're bop, awesome. Bop, 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 bop. They make you snore. They make you snore, 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 and toot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> When I laugh, I smoke. <laughs> but it's all natural. <laughs> Going to sleep faster and actually sleeping. Really? My kids have been absolutely 
Jeremy 